What up, what up? What's going on, man? What's good, my man? How you doing? Man, all right. Before we get into your story and everything, I want you to go ahead and tell the people, you know, a little bit about you, like your age, where you from, any hobbies that you like to do before your incident, any hobbies that you picked up on after the incident. So, yeah, my man, you got the floor. What's up? Yeah, so my name, uh, Kenny. Well, uh, I go by YBN Kenny. That's my stage name. I'm a rapper. Okay. Yeah, rapper. Uh, ta- mm-hmm. tattoo artist. Uh, okay. Yeah, some of my hobbies before my incident, you know, uh, like playing basketball. Okay. Uh, I really, I really want. I ain't gonna lie. I really want. I always was sitting down. I ain't even gonna lie. Like that's mm-hmm. why. That's why it ain't really, it ain't really hard to deal with. But I like tattooing. That's all I used to do. Like I'm real. Like tattooing mm-hmm. and rapping. Tattoo a rapid. How long you been tattooing for? Over eleven years. Over eleven years. Okay. Do you got any? Do you got any pieces in particular that are some of your favorite pieces? Yeah. Or like, yeah. do you have a certain style of tattoo that you like doing? I, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I like portraits. I like doing portraits. You like portraits? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Better it up. Better it up. Since you've been in the wheelchair, have you have you had the opportunity to do any tattoos since then? Yeah, yeah. If I did, I did the total of three tattoos since I've been okay. in the wheelchair. I've been in the wheelchair since uh, November twenty seventh, twenty twenty one. Okay. Oh, recent. Damn. And that wasn't too long ago at all. Okay. And also, what level is your injury? Uh, I'm T one, T two, incomplete. T one, T two. Yeah, incomplete. incomplete. Okay. So is that is that up high or down low? Uh, down That's just low. for the people out there. Down low. Down low. Yeah, like right by. Right by like the uh, like the spine where right above yo basically your butt bone right above that connect to your okay. butt bone. Okay. Before we get into the story, I want you to I want you to tell me how was your day going? Was you having a good day, bad day? Did you have any type of intuition that something bad was probably about to happen at night or that day? Yeah, like it, 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 it was like a like a normal normal day for me, you know, just running errands, mm-hmm. running errands for the shop. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The daily errands. Uh. It, okay, so you was running errands for the shop, or is that your shop? Yeah, it's my shop. That's your shop. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right, better. Do you still got the tattoo shop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still got yeah. it? Okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, so yeah, I'm just running errands, you know, you know. Yeah, I'm just running errands. Uh, went to see went to see my girl. Then mm-hmm. after that, my phone died. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So my phone died. So I and then it was around the time my mama always called me to make sure you know what I'm okay. saying. To tell me good night and make yeah. sure I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Shout out to mom, dude. Yeah, shout out mom. Yeah, but uh, yeah, she uh, she 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 was. She was like I knew she was calling. Someone was telling me, like, man, just pull up mm-hmm. on Miles, mate. Tell her she can tell her I'm yeah. good. And my mama, she like yeah. overprotective about me. Like she don't play about mm-hmm. me. So I pull I pulled up the mom. She got her coat on, finna come out the door down there for the pull up to my <laughs> shop to see where I'm at. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, Ma, I'm good. My phone died. Yeah. Me, I'm I left my phone. I'm I left my charger okay. at the shop. Let me charge my phone real fast. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You know, oh, girl called me like, oh my god, we 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 trying to see where you at. I'm like, man, I, mm-hmm. I'm like, man, I gotta keep this motherfucker charged. You know what I'm saying? So, How long was your phone dead at that moment? Man, it was dead for like thirty minutes. Oh damn! Oh damn! So my so my mom Dukes is on top of it. Okay. Yeah. How old was you at that time? Uh, twenty nine. Like long story short, charge my phone up. I'm like, mom, good. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? I left left from mom's house. Went to go do my last tight of the day, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, uh, so as I'm as I'm finna, uh, as I'm finna, I won't even finna leave. Mm-hmm. Like, at what time was this? I, this was like probably like eight thirty. Okay, eight years, like like okay. eight thirty. Okay, so you had I, so so you was out for the day running some errands and stuff like that. You went to mom's house and then you had a tattoo around like eight thirty. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bet. So, what was that last tattoo that you did? If you don't mind me asking, that last tattoo uh, before you got paralyzed. Right. It was. It was a. Uh, 
Bro, it's crazy, bro. It says stay positive. For real? Yeah, I swear to God, it had. It, 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 it said, like, you know how the poly, you know, the T, the T was across. Oh. So she got it, like, right here on her wrist type mm-hmm. shit. Like, it said stay positive with the cross. Okay. That's so, crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. That's I'm, crazy. I'm, just not, I'm just not thinking about that. Like, for real, I'm just For real? Not you never thought about that? that? Never thought about Never that. Never thought about that. That's wild. Till like right put, now. Put me in your perspective. You do this last tattoo. What's going on? From that time to the time you get paralyzed, what happened? Yeah, I went to I went to go. All I remember, I went to go out. Mm-hmm. Went to go out uh to my car. Cause I, I wasn't even finna leave at first. I was finna go to the car, come right back in the shop. Mm-hmm. So I go to my car. I remember I left my keys and, and some M and M's. I wanted to get my M and M's. Hey, gotta have them M and M's. Hey, look, yeah. I feel you. We talked offline, so I know you messing with the peanut one. You said you was going outside. You was going outside to go get something from the car. All right, so this was just a random trip to the car. It wasn't nothing. This wasn't nothing planned or anything, right? No, just went to the car. Okay, you know what I'm saying damn. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm watching my surroundings. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I'm peeping. I'm seeing something about the unusual, you know, but I, I ain't really. What was I that? Always What'd you see? see? Like, like it was a car parked in front of mine. Okay. But they ain't had a lights on, but I knew somebody was in there type shit. So Ooh. I'm like, I'm like, Man, that shit don't look right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I walked to the car. Like I go in front of my car to open my door. And I'm mm-hmm. parked on the busy streets because my shop on the busy street. So I open okay. the car door. You know what I'm saying? Like, as soon as I open the door, like, I ain't even step foot in the car. Mm-hmm. Shots just get the... Damn. I'm like... You know what I'm saying? I blank out and I just... You know, mm-hmm. I just woke up. I'm like... You know what I'm saying? My adrenaline rush. I'm like, damn. I just got okay. tired. I know I got hit. I ain't just falling on the floor for no reason. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn. Mm-hmm. I'm like, damn, I'm finna die in front of my tattoo shop. I'm like, damn, man, I'm finna die. This this, this how I'm finna die? I'm like, damn. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just shaking so, my So at the moment you got hit, did you just drop? Did you just fall like? Yeah, I, I fell instantly. Okay. Cause I, I, got, I got shot four times. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know what bullet hit me first, but I got shot in each leg, uh, mm-hmm. one my stomach. Like it, mm-hmm. it was like a graze, but it's like it went. Okay. It just like pinched through my stomach, and it, it wasn't it ain't really affect nothing. Mm-hmm. Then I got hit like, like right, like right in the middle. Now I ain't get hit right there, but I got hit in the middle. So okay. yeah. that's the one. So my okay, so. Okay, okay, because I know we talked offline. So you pretty much just got hit in the butt, and it just traveled. It just traveled yeah. up. It traveled Damn, up. So it traveled up and hit like the tail yeah. end of your spine. Bullet, yeah, the bullet's still in my spine. Like it's still, mm. it's, it's right on top of my spine. Like, okay, and did they tell you that they wanted to take it out, or was it, or was it too uh, close? No, no yeah, but it's 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 too close. Yeah, and, okay. Uh, if I talk to okay. the other which uh the, the the surgeons I talked to the surgeons they said um they they don't think they gonna touch it like they oh, they okay. yeah okay. I, they they like you know when we when you first like you know you get first paralyzed you gotta wear that little uh vest nah nah on um, what like, vest like I have to I wear, to wear a vest what vest you talking about man do I got it in here it might be something new it might be something new you might have to tell me this I don't know I don't know about this. Hey. Vest, bro, you gotta wear a vest and then keep your body from rocking like this. You know what I'm saying? It's a, oh, okay. And then okay. and it help heal it your spine. Sense. It help heal your spine when, when your injury new. You said you got hit four times. Yeah, bro. All right, so I noticed because we talked offline. Yeah. How many shots was it in total? Man, it was it was over it was over forty. Over forty shots. So. so. It was truly a blessing that you only really got hit four times. Yeah, for real. And then, and then really, and then, re- and then, real talk. Any, any one of them shots could have been that one. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's really a blessing that you 
even still here after 40 shots. You know what I mean? Like 41. Yeah, like that's that's crazy. Okay, so you fall immediately. Do, do they run after this or or like you really don't know? Like yeah, I really do, ain't. I, I like cause my car door was open. Mm-hmm. When I fell, I had an Audi truck. So when I mm-hmm. I can't see nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm oh okay. Facing my door, like say if you open your door and you just fall back. You only looking at the yeah. door, so I couldn't see nothing. Like mm. only thing I remember is like I'm laying on the ground mm-hmm. and I just lay back. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, I'm finna just give out, man. Yeah. Something just push me up, like, uh uh-uh, uh, get up. I'm, so I mm-hmm. I get up, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Then then my guy mm-hmm. come in, then my guy and them, they come out the shop, they come help me. They bring me in the shop. They like, bro, where mm. you get hit at? Like, cause I had all, I had on all black. I had on like some black sweatpants and yeah, a black coat. You know what I'm saying? And, and mm. so you won't bleeding out. You won't bleeding oh. out like on the. No, I won't bleeding out at all. Like the bullet. Okay. Like small as hell. I'm like, what the fuck? Mm. Like, damn. Like I'm bleeding. Yeah. I don't know where I got hit at. So they they yeah. trying to find where I got hit at. Like they like. Mm-hmm. We, we see one of them we see okay we found another one where else the world mm-hmm. like I, I'm like damn I like they like can you stand up I'm like no bro I'm like I can't stand up I can't move my legs so they mm-hmm. see me on the couch I'm like hell no put me back on the floor I'm, mm. and I'm just I'm just sitting there I'm like like you know what I'm saying I'm just like you know how you just got your legs out you're sitting mm-hmm. back like this but look at them mm-hmm. look so I'm Man, I instantly like I'm still I'm still conscious. I'm like, bro, I'm not gonna die, yeah. bro. Fuck that. I get yeah. called up. I called my mama. Ma, I just got shot. I told her where I met, huh? Mm. Called baby mama. Just got shot. I told her where I met, hung up. Then I called mm. the ambulance. Like everybody else was calling nine one one, but I'm like, man, fuck yeah. that. I gotta call myself. Like you know what I'm saying? Like same, same. I'm, First person I called my mom. Yeah, I'm like, man, come get me. I'm like. Cause it, it's it's crazy mm-hmm. cause I, I done been through like a couple trauma situations so I know like the process mm-hmm. it's it's weird but it's like damn like you know what I'm saying I know the process like it, it, it's just mm-hmm. crazy so I'm like damn okay the ambulance gonna come I'm finna mm-hmm. have to go through these CT scans and then I'm going to yeah. surgery then I'm finna see what's going on so mm-hmm. I'm like I get I get the ambulance finally come they put me on the back of the, uh, the ambulance. Mm. That, How long do you think it took the ambulance to get there? Man, I ain't gonna lie, they came quick. They came quick. They came quick. Okay, five five minutes, like less less than five mm. minutes. Like it was, that five minutes felt like a lifetime, don't it? Man, hell yeah, that shit felt. Hell like, yeah, but <laughs> hell yeah, I, trust me, I know the fella. I'm like, I, I'm like, where the ambulance at? They on the way. I'm like, where the shit? <laughs> hey, look, they need to get faster. I, but no, nah, I, I feel you on that. The police, the police came first. I'm like. Ah oh, shit, like, for real. I'm like, hey, fuck that. Where the fuck the ambulance at? Y'all <laughs> after the fact I got shot. Y'all yeah. already they gone. You know what I'm mm-hmm. I need the ambulance. Y'all can't do shit for me. Yeah. You know but, nah. but it's like, you know what I'm saying? I got on the back of the ambulance. But it it was it was it was just fucked up because I'm like, like, bro, like, that's when it hit me like this shit hurt. Like that, mm. that dude was hurting, bro. I ain't even gonna sit here and cap, bro. Like, okay, so when you get hit and everything, the pain really don't set in yeah, until yeah. you finally get into the ambulance. Adrenaline rush, is yeah, so my adrenaline. Damn. When I'm on the ambulance, I'm talking about that man. That was the longest ride ever, bro. Like, mm-hmm. bro, I'm in so much pain. So they they give me with the IVs and everything. Then I'm like, mm-hmm. pain medication or something. Then they like. Was, What's hurting at that moment? Is your back or your legs? What is it? Bro, it was like, like the whole middle section right here. Her just hurt. Like my mm. legs hurt. Like I couldn't even feel my back. Like I couldn't feel nothing. Like it was just okay. Burning. Hurting. Was it? I'm, was it like a? Was it like an electrocution type feeling? Because that's how mine felt. Mine felt like I got tased. It, it felt like yo, my my shit felt like it was burning. Like. It's burning? Okay. It's okay. Burning. Okay. Man, I oh, I can't even. Whoo, man, that shit hurt it, bro. Okay, so you get in the ambulance, they take you to the hospital. Yeah. Right? You conscious the whole time. Conscious the whole and what? Damn. Like I couldn't get no pain meds, like cause 
my my blood pressure was too low. Like they was like, we gonna have, they have okay medicine to get my blood pressure up before they can give me some pain. Yep. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, man, do something. So I right, get the pain meds, go through the CT scan and everything. I'm conscious through everything. Like, mm-hmm. but uh, when I my last person I seen, like, I had to go through. They uh, they finally they had to do like a hundred pictures. Like X rays of me, like they had to do like because oh, they didn't know where else I got shot at. Like they was they, they mm-hmm. couldn't find no bullet wound. Like they like he yeah. got shot. If they ain't got an exit wound. Yeah, yeah. Did, uh, did, uh, did you have exit wounds or or was the only exit wound the one that was in your stomach? The only the only exit wound was yeah the one in my stomach. Well, no, uh, cause you say you got gray, so I was thinking that it probably came out. Yeah, it came out. Yeah, the one okay. the ones that came. They came straight through all my legs too, so the, okay. only, the only one that paralyzed was the one. Okay, was the one in your butt. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, so. The bullet go on your butt. Is is the pain? Do you feel like that the pain is on your butt or, or like how is like? Yeah. Because uh, I know you said that they laid you on your back. Did you have any pain when they laid you on your back or anything? Yeah, like, like it felt like I was okay. laying on rocks. Like it just felt like mm. that shit hurt it, bro. Like okay, I couldn't okay. feel nothing. But then it's like oh no, it's just so hard to describe. It it, it hurts. Yeah, so bad, dog. that's what I try to really explain to people when it come to being in a wheelchair. Some things is. It's just so heavy that you really can't put it in words. Yeah. Like, you know, you really you really can't express it through words. Can you know? And, like, and, like, don't know about mm, but people in wheelchairs. You know what I'm saying? Mm, or, or or really just you. Yeah. Or really, or really just you. But, I like, I understand because, you know, a lot of the things that we go through as far as, like, moving forward after the SCI injury, a lot of the things are similar. So it's just like, you know, even on how we got paralyzed, a lot of the things are similar. You know what I mean? Bullets travel. You feel me? They don't just stop when they go in. You know, people think, oh, you got shot right there. You know what I mean? But the bullet came out over here or the bullet travel went through, hit this and this and that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like that shit is deep, my man. So, okay. So you get to the hospital. Do they got to put you in and do Tacoma or how long are you out? Cause I know they had to put you out at some time, or yeah. did they not put you out at all? Yeah. So the last person I seen before my surgery, I seen my mom. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing I remember. Okay. But my mom was just crying. They, they like, I'm like, mom, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, man. Mm-hmm. That's no, that's when I was like, Ma, I think I'm paralyzed. Oh shit. They ain't even tell me because I'm sitting here like, if I can't wiggle my toes, you know what I'm saying? I'm like. Mm-hmm. I done seen movie shit like this. I'm like, what the? F-? Yeah. So, you know, I uh, they put me out. I woke up. I was in the ICU. And um, mm-hmm. they ain't really they they just told they ain't really tell me like, oh, you're paralyzed. You won't be able to walk. Yeah. And they ain't really tell me that. They like, uh, bullet hit your spine. You got a lot of nerve damage. You know, they ain't mm-hmm. really. Tell me my injury. Yeah. Like I have to really. It's on you to put two and two together. Yeah. So. Yeah. Tell me nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like I, mm. I don't, I don't know the protocol of that, but, but uh, like people that I talked to in the wheelchair, they said they told them like, oh, you ain't gonna never be able to walk again and all that. So. You see, for me, it's a, it's a, it's really along the same lines as you. Yeah. Like to be to be honest, they really didn't tell me much. Like they like they really like the only way I really found out things like like one they never told me I was paralyzed like I really I really had to like you said put two and two together I'm like damn like they doing all this stuff down there I I can't feel it yeah. you know what I mean like yeah. like you know what I mean like they never told me that they never they never really said any, like like anything about my vertebrae or like what really happened they just said oh you a T ten T eleven that's all I knew I was like what. You know what I mean? So I really yes. had to put two and two together and really find out what it really was. So I feel like that if it's anything that they need to do better, I feel like that they that they really need to be more direct when it comes to telling you what's actually wrong with you. Now, should they tell you that you paralyzed? I don't know about that. 
I don't know about that because I feel like that just hearing them words can just bring on a wave of emotions that the average person really ain't ready for. So I can see them kind of beating around the bush at that, but they need to tell you what's wrong. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, Only but, thing they said was like they um they came in, they just kept kept like mm-hmm. you know like can you feel this like rubbing my feet with stuff can you feel that yeah like no i can't feel yeah that. same uh uh-huh. they did the little poke test yeah. everything yeah yeah like yeah okay feel that like but mm-hmm. like only like the blessing is like I, i'm able to move like one of my legs like, i can like kick my leg oh for real yeah like i got feeling damn like it's crazy bro i got feeling from my knee like my knee up on my right side and mm-hmm. my ankle up on my left side. I can feel all okay. When I get in the shower and stuff, I can feel like look like mm. when the water too hot on my left foot, I can feel it. So I'll be yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. That's 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 crazy. Okay, so okay, so you go into surgery. How long after surgery was it that you woke up? Uh I woke up the next day. No, uh I don't. I don't even think it was the next day. I think it was like right after I had my surgery. I woke up. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, so damn. when they was done with the surgery, I woke up mm. hours after the surgery. Mm. Okay. See. See. For me, I passed out a couple times. Right. So yeah. I passed out when I was on the ground. When I was, you know, when I told you, like, I, I like, I, all right, I can't move my legs. This is what happened when you get shot. Right. I passed out right there. Woke up in the ambulance. Yeah. Pass out right there. Woke up on the operating table, right? Yeah. When I wake up on the operating table, they ask me a couple questions. They like, "How old are you?" And I tell them twenty two. I'm like, "Yo, I'm cold." They like, "Well, we've been expecting you, so we we already had warmed the table up, but all but I like I really can't see anything. It's just a bright light in front of my face. Yeah. It's so like I like I can't see anything. And then I pass out right there, and then I don't wake up until three weeks later. Cause they had they had me in induced a coma because they had to do so many things. I had like four chest tubes in. I had a trach in my neck. You know what I mean? Like I was just so messed up that they had to have me in a coma because that pain was just so severe that they literally also, had to have me so, in there for like so, three for like three so, weeks. So they they had to put you in a coma. Like you weren't in a the coma. They they had to put no. you. No. Yeah. Uh huh. I wasn't <laughs> in a coma. They had to in, induce the coma. Crazy man. Yeah, but you wanna know what? A lot of people I a lot of people I talked to, they had to have the same thing happen to them. Yeah. You know, it it's just certain things, man, it's just so painful, man. Like, like I heard that getting a chest tube put in is one of the pain the most painful things that man, you can go through. That shit hurt, bro. I had a chest Ooh. tube. Yeah. I heard they had to break uh, that they gotta like cut cut through your ribs or break your ribs or yeah. something like that. They gotta cut through, they gotta cut, bro. It's Damn, it's, man, that shit hurt, bro. That shit hurt. That okay, go through your rib, like it go between your rib. Mm. And you know your ribs so sensitive, bro. Like, mm-hmm. hurt, bro. Oh, oh, trust me, I know. Cause when I woke up, I, I kept telling them, I'm like, yo, I think my ribs is broke. I think my ribs is broke. They like, nah. I'm like, nah, my ribs is broke. Yeah, like, like cause I fractured a rib before, so I was like, nah, man, my ribs broke. They do an X-ray. They're like, yo, you got four broken ribs. I'm like, I know. I'm pretty sure they broke them going in. Yeah. But shit, hey, I'm thankful for the broken ribs. Shit, that should probably save my life. Yeah. Them going up in there breaking them shits. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I don't know. Okay, so you wake up the next day. All right, so from the time you get into the hospital, because you said it was only a day, a day after that you woke up from the surgery. Yeah. From the time that you go into the hospital to the time you leave, how long was that? Uh, probably like a month. I was a month hospital November twenty seventh, and I left December twenty third. Damn! So you was on it then? You was on that PT and that OT then? Man, I was in PT, yeah, PT OT every single day, bro. Like, mm. I ain't gonna lie, like my spirits, bro. I'm, I'm just the, I'm just, I like, I got, I, I, you know, what I'm saying, like me as a person, yeah. bro. I, I got a high spirit, bro. So I just. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I learn quick, bro. I learn quick yeah. too. That's one thing about me. Like, I, I'm mm-hmm. very motivated. Like, anything that I mm-hmm. do, I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna do it to the best of my ability. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
I, okay. I knew I had to do this to get home to my family. So I'm like, I look mm. at everything they told me. You know, like then they they was like, That's... Oh, we never seen nobody move this fast as you. Like, mm-hmm. man, I gotta get home to my family, man. I'm like, I can't be just mm-hmm. in the hospital for months. Like, I, I ain't finna be man, I, I ain't get no sleep in the hospital, bro. I can't do it, bro. It's... Man, and you wanna know what people need to hear that? You like, like, like that's something that I needed to hear when I first went in because I'm telling you, I procrastinated for so long, just not wanting to do anything. You know what I mean? But at the same time, at the same time, you know, I, I wake up three, I wake up three weeks later and I'm a hundred pounds lighter. You know what I mean? Like literally a hundred pounds lighter. That's how much weight I lost. You know what I mean? So it's, so, so it's like, not only did I wake up and I can't move my legs, I wake up and I'm, I'm like hella weak. You yeah. know, like so. So my process, my process from the time I went into the time I got, I was like three months and some change. All right. So, but you, since you woke up, since you woke up the next day right after surgery, you ain't really lose no. You you probably ain't really lose no muscle mass in your arms and stuff like that. So, so you was able to get ready. I mean, I mean, so you was really able to pretty much hit the ground running and get to work. Yeah, I, I like I got stronger in there. Like, like For I. I always been like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I never been like super muscular, but like I got muscular yeah. while I was in the hospital because I was lifting weights. Okay. Like, I was, like I was mm-hmm. on it. Okay. Every like yeah. every single day I had PT and OT every single day. Mm-hmm. Every single day I had one one day off out the week, and it was mm-hmm. something like it was an agreement to be in the re- okay. Like that was that was their mm-hmm. policy. Like you gotta you gotta participate. Every day, I'm like, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Like, if this would mm-hmm. make me go home, I'm gonna do it. Then I, exactly, then I seen myself getting better. Like, I, like at first, I was using a slide board. Like, I went home mm-hmm. without using a slide board. Like, mm-hmm. like, that's how fast. Like, I was like, you know, what I'm saying, adapting to my new lifestyle. Yeah. Like, I'm like, okay, if I gotta do this, like, I'm gonna have to do it. I don't want to just be sitting in the bed mm-hmm. miserable and can't do nothing then my body lock up on me i ain't gonna be you know, yeah like i'm just do you use a sliding board now no i don't use sliding board at all me either bro i ain't used one in like eight years bro. yeah i only use it like yeah. a couple times like when i was in, in okay. the hospital that's the only time i ever no yep me too me too that was the only time i used it was in the hospital i used it i used it one time to get in the shower like when i first came home this before mm-hmm. I had my uh my shower bed. Uh, uh Okay. Like I had like I had one of them little old school chairs, you know, like the little uh them hospital chairs. Yeah, the little hospital chairs that you put in the shower. Mm-hmm. Them I I ain't like I ain't like the feeling of that. I'm like, no, nah, this ain't yeah, this this ain't gonna work. I'm like, I'm just mm-hmm. shower, my shower bed. Mm-hmm. My shower bed okay. like two days later. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it it take it takes you it takes you a month to do everything, yeah. right? Uh, do you feel like in that month of you doing constant PT and OT, do you feel like that you learned enough to where you can use that outside, or do you feel like you just learned just enough? No, just enough to go home. Just enough to go home. Just enough to go home. Yeah, I ain't okay. Yeah, when I came home, like it was just enough to get around the house and all that, but. It wasn't mm, okay. like go outside and do things. Mm-hmm. I don't think it was enough for that. Like when you was in OT, did they have you, you know, like uh, like uh, like try to cook a meal for yourself and stuff like yeah, that? I, I cook, yeah, I cook. Yeah, but I, I okay. Cook the OT, I, I uh, I cook myself some breakfast. And okay. Yeah, I did real good. Like it's just mm-hmm. I'm, I'm smart, so you know I'm just like yeah, I'm just using like. I'm creative too, so I'm. Yep. You know what I'm saying like, yeah. And they're like, I'm like, I'm doing this. Like they like, oh, that's that's how you do it. I'm like, I ain't even <laughs> just using my head. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Cause they 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 like you know how they do it. They just they just watch you. They they be, yeah. They do this. See, see mm-hmm. I'm saying if you doing something wrong, then they correct you. But I was doing yeah. thing right, so they like yeah, you yeah. advance. That's what's up, my man. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, so you get out the hospital. You feel like you learned just enough OT and PT to really just get by. What's the mindset that you in when you leave in the hospital? 
Man, I was just. Are you feeling good? You feeling? Man, I, like I, you, I'm for sure. Like, what's up? Man, I was just so happy to be with my family. Then it was like, yeah, it was the holidays. Like, it was like I was yep. happy to be home. Like, man, I'm gonna go home mm-hmm. for Christmas. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm yep. be with my family, so I'm just overwhelmed by. You know what I'm saying? Me coming home, mm-hmm. you know, like all my loved ones being around them, like it was yeah. overwhelmed. Like, so I wasn't even really thinking about what just happened mm-hmm. to me. Like, like to be real, like all that was, I'm like, all right, I'm in a wheelchair. Okay, boom. Like, but mm-hmm. when, you know, you overwhelmed with all, you know what I'm saying? You know, all your people come around, they make it yeah. straight, but then, you know, some of that, like everybody got to go on with their life. You know what I'm saying? Like, when, when, Exactly. Like when I when I when I when I slow down and then you just you just there with the people that's really gonna be there, you yep. like you see, and then you get to thinking, then that's when I realize like, damn, I'm in a wheelchair. Like that's when I got the yeah. like you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I start breaking down, bro, like middle of the night, bro. I couldn't sleep, bro. Same. You know what to do, bro. I'm like, damn, like, mm-hmm. damn, I'm like, damn, I was just walking and running with my son and playing with my daughter just yesterday. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, I still to this. Day. Did your kids come and visit you in the hospital? No, I ain't let them. I, ain't, I, don't, I don't never let my, I can't, I can't let them see me like that. So I just wait till I got home. But it, that's understandable. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I mm-hmm. they, man, it was hard, bro, because. Yeah, you know my kids. I'm really like I'm really in their life. Like my kids, like them. Mm-hmm. I, I really gotta go hard for my kids. They, they of course a the lot. You know what I'm saying? So it's like mm-hmm. it was hard for me to do that because they they knew something wasn't one up. They like man, why why dad ain't uh taking us to school? Why dad? You know what I'm saying? Like they someone right? Mm-hmm. Like they 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 already knew. Like you know five and six year olds, they smart. Yeah. Have they have they asked you any questions? Because my little nieces, my little nieces, they curious too. So it's like you know they might ask you a, a little question here and there. You know, like like why are you sitting down the whole time, or you know why are you not getting up? Like, are they genuinely curious about what's going on? Yeah, yeah, especially my That's son. My son, he he mm-hmm. really don't. He really don't. Uh. Like he always he he just he just protected like he he acts like mm-hmm. is is that okay like is that all right mm-hmm. like he he just want want to make sure I'm good like he really don't be asking questions yeah. he like if, like he'd yeah. probably see me like with my head down or something like, I'm gonna have some spasm mm-hmm. or something I just be like you know what I'm saying he just ask like he ask my mom like, is that all right is 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 that okay you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. daughter I I uh. I sent her a picture. I sent her a picture of me on my birthday, mm-hmm. and uh, and when I had my leg crossed, that's when, like this was after the injury too. I was sitting on the couch with my leg mm-hmm. crossed. I sent her a picture. Okay, and then uh, yeah, she was she asked me like, "Dad, is your leg okay now?" Like this, she was like, "You mm-hmm. can walk now." Like I was like, "No," nah. I'm like, "I'm I'm like I'm I'm still uh, I still gotta go to therapy." Yeah. Yeah, yeah so man. I, I ain't really tell them yet. Mm-hmm. They gonna love you regardless, my man. Yeah, yeah, I, you I, know. Yeah, cause I, I, I got, I got a guy that's in a wheelchair too, bro. I, I talk to him mm. like every, like every, every other day, man. He, he give me pointers and stuff like that. He, he told me, cause I told him the situation about my kids. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm like, man, I'm like, I'm thinking it like this one. I get to thinking, I'm like, damn. Like the daddy and daughter dance, and you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. everything gonna be different, bro. Like I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss out on a lot, bro. Like I'm, I'm thinking mm-hmm. that he was telling me, like, bro, they gonna, he like, your kids gonna love you way. He's like they gonna Regardless. love you, they gonna overlove you, bro. Yep. Make sure it's unconditional, you. my man. It's yeah. unconditional. It don't matter. Yeah, it don't matter. It don't matter. So, okay, so. Since you've been in a, damn, I mean, you only been in a, you ain't been in a wheelchair, you ain't even been in a wheelchair six months. No. So, since you've been in a wheelchair, what do you feel like is the biggest obstacle that you face so far? Man, telling the world. 
Like mm. come like coming out to the world, bro. Like I don't know. Like then it's like 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 in Milwaukee because I'm I'm from Milwaukee. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. you know, I'm a rapper. I'm super popular, bro. So it's like it's hard to go somewhere where people don't notice me yet. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody gonna know me. Like I'm like yeah. that's why I be in Kenny. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. like even when I go to when I go to therapy, like. It be it be people that work in the front. They be like, oh, they're like, oh, ain't uh, ain't you the rapper? I'm like you all right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I just be, it's yeah. just people look at then it be it be you got people that just, some people just look at me and then it just be, you know, like I ain't I I really don't care what people think about me or none of that. It's just like, um, uh, like. It, it, it's hard for me to sink this in, bro. Like, to, to be in the wheel. Yeah. Bro. It's hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's it was hard. It, look, it, it was hard for me, Never, too. Bro. It, was, it was hard for me, too, but at, at least you got a positive mindset. Yeah. It's you know? hard, but, bro, I'm gonna keep fighting, bro. Keep fighting. Of course. Of course, my man. You got to. Yeah. You got to. So, okay, so I know you said that you was in therapy. So, how often do you go to therapy? Uh, I go two times a week. And then oh, I just I just uh they just discontinued my uh my uh what's that uh occupational therapy. They 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 okay. don't even need that no more. Yeah. Like yeah, they like no nah. You shouldn't need that. Hey, no. and then I had I had I had messed their head up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. What's look, up? So, uh, I mean, I am I am in occupational therapy, right? And then I mm-hmm. got this little trick from you. Like, she, so she telling me, like, okay, so how do you uh do your bowel program? I told her, like, I got the commode, you know. I, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like, okay, show me how you will undress and use the bathroom. And I showed her, uh, you know what I'm saying? Then she trying to mm-hmm. show me a way, like, to put my pants back on from when I'm getting, you know what I'm saying, getting back in my chair. I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm like, I ain't gonna lie, this shit taking too long. Like, in the back of my head, mm-hmm. I ain't say it out loud, though. But I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm like, uh, I'm like, can I just show you how I put my pants on? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, this all I do. I grab, you know, how you grab your, uh, like, like your, uh, the, uh, with, with your thumbs and just scoot in. Mm. Yep. I did that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you got okay. Okay, so you watched my video on yeah. how to put on the pants. Yeah, yeah that's how I learned. Damn. Bro, that yo, that's wild. Look, bro, that's how what's I, so bro. crazy is that I didn't what's up? That's how I learned how to put my pants on, bro. Like, I was struggling with that, bro. What? Bro, what? Bro, you wanna know what's so crazy is is when I would do those types of videos, I would really think that nobody was really watching. Bro. Like, yeah, like, yeah, I got views on it, but I really never felt like it's like I got views, but I never really felt like nobody was really watching. Man, I was watching. So that's crazy it's, that you told me that you learned too, that. bro. Because you definitely because, bro, when, when I showed her that, bro, she was like, like she was trying to make a little excuse. Like, you know, you're going to uh, if, if if you're strong enough to do that, I'm like, look at my arms. Like, I, I'm strong enough to do this. I'm mm-hmm. like, then she like, look, yeah, does it does it put. This strain your arm, like no. I'm like, I'm only doing this for like three seconds. Exactly, yeah. you bro. Look, it's, <laughs> it's one quick motion. Look, look. As soon as you pull them up to right there, you grab it with your yeah. thumbs in the inside, do a push up, and then scoot them on yeah. there. Like it's quick. Yeah. It's quick. Like, yeah, she trying to have me lift my leg up, push it, and mm-hmm. I'm like, no, I'm gonna show you my way. She was like, oh, what you see, you see, but that's what. Unfortunately for me, that's something that I wish that I really would have like took in was information from people that was in wheelchairs. I didn't start doing that until like two years after I had been in a wheelchair. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so I really, so I really wasn't listening to, I really wasn't listening to nobody. But you know, we can learn a lot of things from listening to people that are in our situation, yeah. and and most of the time, and. Look, all of the time, I've never came across a PT person that was in a wheelchair. I ain't going to lie. They need to get them PT jobs to people in man, wheelchairs. Man, real, man. Like, it, look, it, they need to have somebody in a wheelchair, and then they need to have an assistant that's not in a wheelchair, facts. and they need to team up. They need to team up, facts. and that need to be the PT team right there. Somebody that's in a wheelchair, somebody that's not in a wheelchair. Because they not going to know. Yeah. They, like, 
bro. They don't know what we going yeah, through. Yeah, bro. Like, if it is you like, know? they, they sure, they like, because, bro, one thing I struggle with, I, I can't, like, get in my wheelchair off the floor. Like, like. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You know what? They got they got videos for that. I think I got a video for that. Yeah, but, you know what I mean. But see, see, but I, but look, I'm gonna send you some videos because I'm pretty sure my boy Wills to Walking got one too. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm gonna send you one of his. Uh, uh, I think my boy Garrison Ray got one too. So look, I'm gonna send you all the videos. You feel me? But it's all about the break. Too. Look, it's all about how you look. You got to use your legs for you. So I always make sure I always got on like shoes type stuff. So so like. It can grip the floor, you know what I mean. So, so, and so, and, and then also you gotta have good brakes too. I mean, you could do it if you ain't got good brakes, but it really helps to have good brakes so the chair ain't moving. Yeah. You know what I mean. Good so, but look, hey, hey, look, I'm gonna make it my mission. We gonna get you right when it come from the, you know, what I mean for the yeah. uh, the transfer from the floor. We gonna get you right. I know how to do it. Like, say if I'm like on the couch, like I can get it. On, mm -hmm. like I can get on the flow. Then get on the couch, mm -hmm. then get in my chair. I can't get from the okay. floor to my chair. That's the only thing I'm struggling with. For real? Yeah, okay. but I, it's, okay, we're gonna have to get you right then. What kind of chair you got? Uh I, I got I got a loaner right now. Okay. I got the loaner chair right now. You ain't got a uh do you got a custom made? Oh dang, yeah, you're right. So you ain't yeah. so they ain't even had they ain't even had enough time to really even fit you for a chair. No, they fit and, and get you one. I, my chair, my I'm waiting on my chair right now. Okay, so you've been fitted. They just ain't had enough time to actually really get you one. Yeah, it's damn. No, it's on. Yeah, it's on the way. They 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 fitted me for it and everything. I'm just waiting on my. Okay, so I got the yeah right now. Okay, okay. So you just waiting. Okay, and you wanna know what? Once you get that custom wheelchair, my man, it's gonna make it's gonna make everything a lot better for you. Yeah, it's gonna make them transfers a lot more easier. You know what I mean? Like, cause you gotta have confidence in your wheelchair when it comes to your transfers. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I be confident in the brakes. Even if you don't use the brakes, I know some people that don't use the brakes when it comes to transfers. I always, I always make sure I put my brake brakes on because, man, I feel like shit. I'm paralyzed, bro. It's like it, it, it was like that one in a million chances that I'm paralyzed. Shit, that one, it's that one in a million chances that if I don't put the brakes on, shit, I could bust my ass and end up in the hospital for a damn two months. You feel me? I, yeah, I'm yeah. straight. You know, I might break my ass, you know what I mean? My butt bone or something like that. You know, like, nah, uh-uh. So I always, look, I always try to keep it as safe as possible, you know? Yeah. If it's something that I should be doing, I don't like to try to cut corners. You know what I mean? Like, I'll cut corners on things that I can cut corners on. Yeah. On things that I shouldn't, you should definitely shouldn't cut corners on. Because trust me, that leads to other things that you don't want to have to deal with. Are you working right now? No, I'm just. You ain't working? No. How's your mindset? How you feeling about the whole situation? I'm still, I'm still taking it in. Like you should taking it in. Yeah, I'm still taking it in. Like it's, it's still kind of fresh, but it's like, mm -hmm. you know, it, it is what it is, man. It ain't finna stop my. I'm still yeah. breathing. I'm, you know, what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I got, I got life still to give. Like I got, my, I got, my, I got my head. I got my hands. Yep. You know, shit. I still got my legs, but shit ain't. Mm -hmm. I want to work, but I still got it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just shit. It, it's hard, but shit, bro. I'm, I'm a. It's this. I'm just taking it day by day at this point. You know what I'm saying? Okay. 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 Hey, look, my man. As long as you here, you win it. Yeah. All right. Look, sure. As long as you wake up, as long as you wake up the next day, you win it. All right. Because it's a, it's a, it's a lot of people. In your situation, they got shot one time. They didn't make it. All yeah. right. I know. Look, I know you paralyzed. I'm paralyzed too. So I know. Look, I know what you're going through. But shit, my man, trust me, that shit get better. All right. I done done, bro. I done done. I done done more stuff since I've been paralyzed than before I was paralyzed. Times ten, bro. Like times ten. Like mm -hmm. it don't end there, bro. You get, bro. You could do so much, look, bro. Like you can go skydiving. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, yeah, bro, I, it's so I, much. It's boat and everything. I see you. Uh, Hell yeah! Look, man. we only did the boat because the skydiving got canceled because of the clouds. But yeah. look, if that didn't happen, I would have went skydiving that day. You know what I mean? But yeah, like, since it didn't happen, it they ain't for me. Like, yeah, like me, me, me and my girl, though, we we be watching, we be watching your uh uh your YouTube videos all the time, dog. I'm like, bro, I appreciate it, my bro, man. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? You just, Gave me plenty. Mm -hmm. Still life after 
being paralyzed. It is. It is. And that's what a lot of people, a lot of people think like, damn, I'm in a wheelchair. My life is over. And it's it's not like that. You know, it's just moving forward. You just going to have to do things a little bit differently. You got to be just a little yeah. bit more patient. I, I just do things differently. Huh? Exactly. Uh, it's, look. Bro, you still, bro, you can still use the bathroom. You can still pee, bro. You just do it differently. Yeah. All right. It ain't that you ain't doing it. You just gotta do it a little bit differently. Look, man, I done traveled to Columbia where won't nothing really handicap accessible. But you wanna know what? I found a way. Yeah. You feel me? Sure. And shout out to the Colombian people out there too, bro. They was nice as hell. You shit like man, they picked me up, brought yeah. me to the boat. You yeah. feel me? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, man. So look, it don't end, it don't it don't end when you get paralyzed, man. For real, for because because for me, it was just it shit just picked up. The life I've had since I've been paralyzed, man, is truly a blessing. Yeah. The amount of people that I've met, bro, it's a blessing, bro. Like I, I didn't came in contact with so many with so many people, bro. And to me, like me personally. I was an asshole before I got in the wheelchair. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I was just cocky as hell. Like, you know what I mean? Like, shit, I thought I could beat everybody ass. And, bro, it's just, bro, it's, like, that shit really set me down. You know what I mean? It was a blow to my ego, bro. And that's what I needed. I feel like I feel like I really needed this. You know? Like, I, I really hate the fact that I'm in a wheelchair. But, man, I, I really, truly feel like I needed this. And That's how I feel, man, bro. That's how I feel, too. Mm -hmm. oh. You know, I was whipping and running. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I felt like, I swear to God, I was talking to this, bro, to uh, with my girl today. Like, she was like, Do you think, like, this is a sign from God? Like, what, what, like, what you think he's trying to tell you? Mm -hmm. I need to sit down. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. I need to sit down and think. You know what I'm saying? Because cause I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm about to move out of town, too, man. I'm finna. For real? I, I just, yeah. Where you moving to? Uh, I I got I want to move to uh, either Arizona. Uh, Ooh, bro, it's hot out there. I, I love Arizona though, man. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> you been out there when it's been hot? Yeah, yeah, I've been out there when it was one hundred and thirty. <laughs> bro, look, I was out, bro. I was out wow. there. I I drove through Arizona, bro. This is fucking like ten o'clock at night, bro. It was like it was like one twenty outside, bro. Look, it shit was crazy, bro. I was like, what the, <laughs> bro? I done put the windows up at night, at night, bro. That damn, bro. You want to move to Arizona? Yeah, either. Damn, what part? Either A Z, uh, either like, uh, probably like Scottsdale. Okay. Scottsdale or Phoenix. Okay. Uh, or I was thinking Tampa, Tampa or. Okay. Okay, you moving with your girl? You moving with your mom? Who you moving with? My girl, my girl. For real? Uh, we some... you, you been looking at places out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, have you, okay, so if you've been looking for places, I, have you been looking for handicap accessible places out there? Yeah, that's that's the big thing. Okay. Yeah. My, exactly. My my uh my girl, she she been on it, like, and she. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. She work, at a, she work at a hospital, too, so she. Oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like she, 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 mm -hmm. she getting more advanced. Like, cause she, she deal, she, she working the children's part though. So, mm -hmm. I know when she dealing with me, like she, like it's it. You know what I'm saying? She getting advanced and working with people that's in wheelchair exactly. jobs. So, so she be knowing, like, you know what I'm saying? What to do? To mm -hmm. her. It be helping her too. Mm -hmm. So, but okay. So was you was you dating her before your incident? Yeah, yeah. You were, okay, so how do you feel like she took it? I mean, like, bro, like she she been with me, like, bro. When I first started going through shit, like I remember, uh, mm -hmm. my mom, she was with me when I almost I almost died from COVID because, oh I, shit, uh, yeah, I got I got a bad lung right here from getting shot in 2015. Mm. So I almost died from COVID. Like I was really like they was I was this close from being on the ventilator. But I really? fought through that. Yeah, but I had caught COVID 2020. Got to a car crash two, three months later. And she was like, she, she been with me through everything. So it's just like, mm -hmm. she like, damn, man, why I'm still keep happening to you? Like, I'm like, I don't yeah. know. Like, this, I'm like, this, this got to be the last dark cloud over my head, man. I'm like, mm -hmm. like yeah, one, I'm like, man, this going to pass through. I'm 
it's just time for me to move. Like I just I just feel like I reached my peak here, man. Like Yeah. It ain't nothing. You just outgrew it. That's it. You just outgrew it. You know? That's if you wanna reach bigger <laughs> if you wanna do bigger and better things, sometimes you feel like, you know what? I gotta move out of here, my man. So yeah, like, uh was you born there? Was you born in Milwaukee? Yeah, I was born in- that's understandable too, man. Cause I you know what? I felt the same way, bro. And what's so crazy is we really have a similar story when it comes to that because you know, when I was going through everything, like I said, it took me like two years to really get my head on straight. Yeah. And once I finally did, man, I really, I really realized Atlanta wanted the place for me. I'm like, man, this, this not it for me. Like, like I, can't, like I can't be around here. You know what I mean? And maybe a little bit of it was, was man, I don't want the people. Like, not that much, but a little bit of it was, man, I don't want the people that I went to school with to see me like this. You know. Like, 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 I really, like, I don't know. Like, I, like, I just really didn't want that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and I just really felt like I wanted to relocate because, you know, when I was in the military, I lived in Texas, I lived in Colorado, you know, and I was like, man, like, just Atlanta just wasn't the place for me. I, I, and I knew that. And I'm just like, you know what? I got to get up out of here, you know, and I moved to Bakersfield, California, and I never looked back, man. I go back occasionally, but, Bro, I'm telling you, it was it was the best thing I could have ever did. The best, I started doing YouTube. I started doing YouTube, and stuff really just took off for me, man. So I know how you feel when you say that you just you you really just outgrew where you was from. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, like I feel like I, I just feel like I did everything I could do here. Like it ain't nothing. Exactly. I mean, it's it's always gonna be some, but I just. Feel like mm-hmm. I just yeah, in everything here, like it ain't nothing I did. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, so I, I feel like yeah, I, like take my talent, like market somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Like I marketed mm-hmm. here already, so I'm gonna market somewhere exactly. else. Exactly, exactly. My boy, he a YouTuber too. Shit, he a real big YouTuber, but hey, he just made the move from here to Texas. You know what I mean? And like he told me, he just felt like he just outgrew it. it. He outgrew it, man. Like. He wanted to elevate. He felt like he couldn't do that here no more, you know. So he re- he re- he relocated with the Texas. He said it was the best thing he ever did. Yeah. So that's what's up, my man. That's what's up. Uh, do you got any questions for me? Are you curious about anything? Are you having problems with anything that you want help with? Like, let me know what's up. Yeah, just I don't know. Like, look, I don't know, man. It's just. It's- only thing I be having problems with, like the little pain, like dealing with the pain. That's it. Mm, like, okay, like the little pain that come here and there. Mm-hmm. Like, damn, do it supposed to feel like this? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I would say, man, you know what? Pain medication isn't always the answer, and I'm gonna say that, and I'm gonna be a hypocrite. And I mean, I done took pain medication before. You feel me? And I use it for that, but it ain't really always the answer. You know, you just gotta fi- you just gotta figure out what really works for you. You know, you just try different things, bro. Like I like like I told you before, I really first experimented with marijuana and that really helped me out. You know what I mean? Like just try different creams, try uh try C B D. C B D might help. Yeah. And I know C B D works for some people, it didn't work for me, but it it might help. Helping a little bit, this little hemp. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, yeah. So man, it's just everything is really just gonna be trial and error. Like uh I know I got the those lidocaine patches from my doctor. Yeah. So I I try that. Definitely try them lidocaine patches and everything like that. So yeah, my man. Look, oh, you good? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. But no, my man, look, like I said, it's it's just trial and error when it comes to when it comes to this, my man. Uh and really is networking, talking to people in wheelchairs, finding yeah. out different uh-huh. stuff. You know, that's still my problem to this day. I don't really talk to nobody in the wheelchair. And that's really on me. But I know that doing this, doing these types of videos, I'm gonna really get to network with people in wheelchairs. So I look forward to it. I look forward to meet different people hearing their stories and you know, learning some stuff from y'all because bro, it's a lot of stuff that you know, I still don't know. You know, I don't have all the answers. You know what I mean? Like, you might tell me something I didn't know, you know what I mean? And it just, I'm like, damn, I never, eat. like, one, I, I probably never thought about like that or, you know, I never knew that. So it's just all about networking. Yeah. You know, we we really, it, like, trust me, man, it's, 
I know sometimes you might not want to, but trust me, it'll be beneficial for you in the long run to really network with people in wheelchairs. Yeah. And that's one thing that I really yeah. had to learn. Yeah, like, like, man, I'm trying to tell you, like, bro, YouTube, like, that's what make me want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. when, when y'all, like, when I be watching y'all videos on YouTube, Mm -hmm. out to like you know what i'm saying like just mm -hmm. nice stuff y'all be doing i'll be like damn man that that shit just like be motivating you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. then like like you said like talking to people in wheelchairs i instantly call call my guy like he you know what i'm saying we real cool like we mm -hmm. about five years man this just happened to me he was like on it like bro i teach you how to drive like he drive Hey, mm -hmm. no, like he 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 do the other. Yeah. Who what he drive with a cane? He cold too. Oh, for real? He be with me. <laughs> he drive with the cane. What? You know what? My uncle, my uncle. Whenever he first got, hey man, shout out to my uncle, man. He didn't pass though, but my uncle was in a wheelchair. I don't know if you seen. I think it was the very first video I talked about it. Um, but whenever he first got paralyzed, he drove with a cane, got into a car accident. Damn. Yeah, so so you know what I mean you gotta be careful driving yeah. the cane. But look, look, hey, look, I'm about to drop some hair controls, so be on the lookout for them hair controls. All right, trust me. Hey, look, yeah, I do. trust me, man. These, bro, these hair controls is where it's at. Drop the cane. I'm like, oh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> yeah, right, hey, look, I mean, hey, look, you want to be safe with it. You want to be safe with it. So, look, I appreciate you coming on here telling your story. Um, <laughs> trust me, it's a lot of people that's gonna get some inspiration from it, and man, like. Like your whole vibe, your whole aura, my man, it's infectious. You know, it's, it's like somebody going, somebody going to be sitting in the bed and hear what you got to say and really take, take something positive from this. You know what I mean? So it was really inspirational that you only needed a month, you know, to really get your stuff together and lead a hospital. So, and that's crazy because it took me three months. Man, couldn't so get in there, man. I couldn't do it. I'm like. Mm -hmm. I gotta get to nah, I feel you. family, dog. I'm like, I feel you. I, I feel you. I feel you. I ain't want my kids. I feel, hey, look, like that. look, my man. You can still do all. You can still do everything that you wanted to do before. You said you was rapping. You said you was tattooing, bro. You can still do all that. Yeah. All right. And, and I know you. And I know you said that you were. What's up? Yeah, I said I'm just now like getting back to. I just made a song the other day. I'm. I'm just now getting back to myself. Self like. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like I feel like I'm waking up now. Like now I'm waking up and trying to, mm -hmm. cause cause I, I, as I like as my injury life, I just sit in the bed all day. I'm gonna experience every single thing going on with me. Like I yep. just that. Then like you know what I'm saying. Like I'm doing this interview, I could be going through like a like a slight pain. I won't even notice mm -hmm. it because I'm distracted by being active. Exactly. Like you know, the more I stay active. The more mm -hmm. I get to get through this, you know what I'm saying? That's what I learned. From mm -hmm. you know, like, that. yep, get man, look, get active, yeah, get active because that's going to help you when it come to weight management too. Yeah. So look, don't wait, get active. You feel me? And like you said, that's going to block out a lot of the things that's just randomly going on in your head. Yeah. You know, it's just you know, it's just you sometimes. Sometimes if you got a little time. You just think about the dumbest shit possible. Man, for real, bro. You feel for me? Real, bro, the, bro some dumb shit, bro. Like you think about some dumb shit, bro. I'm an overthinker for real, bro. Like me too, bro. I'm me too. So sometimes so a lot of the times, a lot of the times it really works for you, but when you are overthinker and you going through this situation, it, it works against you. So. Yeah, for real. So I just want to thank you, bro, for coming on, sharing thank your story. And you know, look. You can still do the rapping thing. You can still do the tattooing thing. I'm looking forward. Hey, look, I'm for I'm looking forward to getting some work done from you. All right. All right. Yo, bro. So look. I'm I I, huh? I I come out there with the kit now. Oh shit. All right, better not. Better not. Hey, look. Look, trust me, we're gonna link up one day. All right. We're gonna link up one day. I pro look, I promise you that. Look, we're gonna link up one day. All right. I just talked to my girl. I'm like, I'm do the interview with uh with a uh, wheelchair kid. She was like, oh what? So how you Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, my man. Look, I look, I appreciate you supporting the channel. Yeah. For for look, you and your girl, I appreciate it. Shout out to her. Cause you know, our companions really don't get enough. You know, like, don't really get enough. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? 
our companions don't get enough, you know, like light, light shined on them, you know. Yeah, we going through something, but at the end of the day, they they going through something too. They go through. So you know, Real. you know, shout out to your girl, shout out to my wife. Yeah. You know, because they one one they gotta put up with us overthinking in our heads, in our feelings. Man. You know, and that's trust smart, me, bro. Because I hell I, yeah, it is. Sometimes I think to myself like, damn, bro, I put her through a lot, like just from being in. Mm. Like I ain't actually yeah. like this, but it it you know what I'm saying? that shit this shit hard, bro. This shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So shout out to her. What's her name? Uh, Ronisha. Shout out to Ronisha, my man. For real, for shout real. Out. Hell yeah. Hey, look, shout out to her, my man. Put a ring on it, bro. Put a ring on it, bro. It's coming. Put it. <laughs> hey, look. Put. Hey, look. Put it. Hey, look. We only getting older. <laughs> look, look. We only getting older. You feel me? So, yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? I appreciate it, my man. Thank you for coming on the podcast. Is there anything that you want to say? Anybody want to shout out? Let's get it. Yeah, shout out. Shout, hey, yeah. yo, what's the name of your tattoo shop, too? Luxury Inc., man. Shout out. Luxury Inc., yeah. Man, shout out. Man, shout out everybody from Milwaukee. That's, 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 hey. That's, y'all, man, shout out everybody from Milwaukee. Y'all know who y'all is, man. Shout out Moms. Shout out Pops. Mm-hmm. Shout out Lil Bro. Shout out my nigga Rico. Shout out my boy Johnny. Man, shout out, shout out my boy BC. Shout out everybody, man. Y'all, y'all already know who y'all is. If I forgot y'all, I'm gonna shout y'all out and, and, and some something else. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, better it up, better it up. Appreciate my boy YB and Kenny, man, I appreciate you coming on, my man. All right, good interview, bro. All right, peace, my man. Thank you, bro. All right, thank you, bro.